the katydids are masters of camouflage. These relatives of the grasshoppers have some of the best mimicry in the insect world. How many katydids did you see in Costa Rica? Katydids look like grasshoppers, but are actually more related to crickets. Katydids are very vocal animals, which of course means that they can hear. A tympana or eardrum located on the tibia picks up all that yelling and screaming. That familiar sound is made by moving a hard ridge called the file on one wing against a sharp edge called the scraper on the other wing. Both wings vibrate rapidly and produce a variety of clicks, chirps, snaps, and buzzes. Katydids have four tarsal segments of the foot, outrageously long antennae, and a long blade-like ovipositor. Katydids go through incomplete metamorphosis, and after each molt, they are bigger and a little different looking. All that's left after a molt is a shadow of its former self. The English name comes from a North American species whose song sounds a lot like Katie She Did. The Spanish name Esperanza means hope, which in some cultures is associated with the color green. There are hundreds of species of katydids in Costa Rica, placed in several subfamilies. The bush katydids are remarkable leaf mimics. The bush katydids feed on vegetation and live in shrubs and trees. They are unique in that they are the only group of katydids whose females answer the calling songs of the males. The interval between the call is what they find sexy and determines how the relationship will go. Love those eyes. One of their characteristics is that when their wings are folded, the tips of the hind wing project further than the forewing. The bush katydids don't do whips, leather, nor neck spines. Many in this group are fantastically colored and adorned with spines to camouflage themselves among mosses and lichens. Surely these spines help for defense as well. The auditory organs are easily seen on the forelegs of these bush katydids. The cone heads are known for the spike or protuberance between the eyes. As with all the katydids, the females have an egg-laying organ called an ovipositor that can be stuck into rotting logs, between bark, or in the ground to lay her eggs. She has a great pair of antennae, which are useful for feeling around at night. Despite all the body armor, Katydids are common food for all sorts of animals. Bats, birds, monkeys, cuatamundis, snakes, and lizards. The coneheads have their first two femurs with non-movable spines. The coneheads have powerful jaws for seed eating, or in some cases, predation. Most katydids feed on plants, like leaves, buds, and flowers. But some just love raw meat. And you say you're a vegetarian. Meadow grasshoppers are usually brown to green and they live in swamps or grassy areas. They tend to sing in the day or early evening. The 
The subfamily of conehead and meadow katydids have a large oval and partially hidden thoracic spiracle and no dorsal apical spine on the front tibia. The true katydids are a diverse group in size, color, shape, and behavior. Some look like leaves and stay in plain sight, while others hide inside dried leaves or in other hideouts. They all seem to have this clean foot fetish. Now that's a clean tarsi. Many in this group flash their wings open to scare you away, which works pretty well when you're up close. Now take that. All katydids have long, long antennae with 30 or more segments that are very sensitive to touch. Within the subfamily are the famous leaf katydids that mimic dried leaves. Apparently there's incredible variation within the species, some looking like dried leaves, down to the last detail. Or green leaves with the appropriate fungal spots. Or even drier leaves with strong leaf venation. And then there's one that looks dried, yellowed, and damaged by leaf cutters. This is definitely high-end camo. And one as if it had dried completely. The detail in this mimicry is phenomenal, even at close inspection. Katydids may make up 60% of the insects consumed by insectivorous bats. One of the great things about looking for insects is you get to go into the bush at night. Now for many insects, nighttime means showtime. And some of the most famous and best singers are the katydids. And, of course, you can't go inside until you've heard the fat katydid sing. Now, it's possible to find katydids in the daytime, but you have to know where to look. Another related group are the long-wing leaf katydids. They are good size, some over three inches, have long antennae, and can often be found in rolled up banana leaves, heliconia leaves, or inside bromeliads, with only their antennae showing. Their wings tend to curl over their abdomen. The true katydids are distinctive in having a very small oval thoracic spiracle or breathing hole.
Many predaceous katydids are active predators of other insects, while other species feed on plant matter and dead insects. When you catch one of these, watch your fingers. This famous Mormon cricket of the western United States is in the subfamily of the predaceous katydids. One main feature of this group of katydids is the presence of one or more spines on the upper side of the four tibia. Katydids are a big part of the food chain. To survive, they have green camouflage, others bail out just in time, a kick with a spiny leg may make the difference, and there's the let's get out of dodge tactic. Others look like moss or lichen and can kick ass too. Some use a softer call where bats are a major predator. One Costa Rican katydid hangs around Polistes wasp nests for protection against the birds. And then others just run off hysterically. 